Northern Circumstance Project is a, it's a community project to raise awareness of Pompey disease. Pompey disease is a rare disease. There's less than 200 people in the UK who are diagnosed with this. It is a breakdown of the muscles because we lack the enzyme which gets rid of the glucose. So the muscles then deteriorate and you get myopathy. Rare diseases are much more common than you might imagine. One in 17 people in the UK is living with a rare disease and many of them have to wait years to get any kind of treatment. So we're here today as a choir uh, recording Algar's Pomp and Circumstance in Abbey Road Studios. Now this is the perfect place because he was the first person to record at Abbey Road Studios so it's the perfect piece of music in the perfect venue with the perfect people. So I was sent an email from Adam Brooks, from one of the specialist nurses there. She sent an email regarding pomp and circumstance. I actually couldn't live without music. Music is a massive part of my life and my family's life. You look forward to singing? Yeah, I like, we like singing, don't we? We're yeah, a singing family. Singing family. Pop and dad, <laughs> when he comes home. <laughs> Turn it off. Football songs. <laughs> Going to Abbey Road is just, wow, wow, you know, an opportunity that couldn't be missed. Today is a really important recording that we really want people to listen to. And we want you to listen to it because it's going to be great, but also because it matters. It matters because these people have got something to say and they've got something they need you to care about. Today is the end of a train. The train started with everybody boarding it, doing Zoom rehearsals. <laughs> OK, let's sing it with the music. Today we arrive at the destination, which is everyone not just hearing themselves, but listening to one another, seeing how their voices blend and where their sound fits with everyone else's. It's actually quite nerve-wracking for us because this is the first time we're actually going to get to hear them. Yeah. We don't know if they can see. Join our voices together We are not alone The Pomp and Circumstance Project, I received an email about it, read it and thought, ooh, that sounds exciting. And then I thought, ooh, it's scary, can I do it? <laughs> and then I saw it was at Abbey Road Studios and I thought, well, yeah, I've got to do it, and Stuart will never forgive me if, if, if we don't go for it. It's ex so exciting to see so many faces. I feel like this project has been in the making for a very long while. Carrie and David talked us through how to do breathing techniques, um, specifically for singing. So we have to breathe using our stomach muscles. <gasps> and I noticed a real difference from doing those breathing exercises. It's getting easier. When I first started singing, so I guess on my own in there, I thought, oh, God, that sounds croaky, and yeah. breathing was bad, and I was breaking up. You know, but the more you do it, the It's just a case of getting used to it. You do feel uh, better about Getting your confidence up. The pandemic has meant that gathering together has been impossible, singing even more impossible. And so for this community who've had to spend quite a bit of that time shielding, this is going to be a great moment. Yeah, singing is soul food. It releases endorphins and dopamine and serotonin. And for people who've been starved of soul food, today is a feast. <laughs> enjoyed about this being involved in the, the Pomp and Circumstance project has been doing something outside of my comfort zone and doing something that hopefully will raise awareness of Pompey disease and help people understand it a little bit better. Raising awareness is fantastic um, for, for such a rare condition and I think this is a, is a wonderful project for, for doing that. One of the issues is that we're wanting to campaign for a timely diagnosis because the earlier you get the diagnosis, of course, then you can get the help that you need. Well, rare diseases are an important disease area for Sanofi. What we're motivated to do is shorten that diagnostic journey and improve lives for as many patients and their families with rare diseases as we can. This is about hope. It's about hope in the face of unbelievable difficulties. It's about people with rare diseases who often Others don't even know about their conditions, saying, I'm here, 
and I'm living with this, and I'm living through this, and I'm expressing hope in it. That's why it's important to listen to it. Join our voices together. We are not alone. Join our voices together. We are not alone. I got other goosebumps yeah. from it. It was, yeah, absolutely brilliant, amazing, fabulous to be a part of. I mean, being the best part of the day for me is actually doing the, the zebra crossing <laughs> and doing the singing, of course, in here and making history. Emotional. I mean, you saw some of the emotions of people with tears in their eyes. I think there's something very special when people are singing their story. Mm. that you don't get if it's just a professional singer. Who, they're, they're great and they can tell somebody else's story, but this is, these, this is their community and it's their story, and that's what brings that magic. You can't manufacture that, it's, and it's real, and it's authentic, it's authentic and yeah. you can hear it and you can feel it. That's fantastic, got goosebumps at the end, just absolutely amazing. I've loved it, it's been absolutely brilliant today. I think I sung all right. <laughs> I'm, re I'm really... I'm really grateful to the coaches for the breathing exercises. I really thought I would never be able to hold the notes at the end, and I didn't all the time, but, you know, I did. I did, I did much better than I thought I, I could do. So often I think, you know, people struggle alone or work alone, and to come together uh, and see other smiling faces, you know, all aligned behind a project has been great. Can't wait to hear it on the radio and other people to be able to hear it and just raise loads of awareness. I'm going to have a smile on my face for the next two weeks. It might last longer than two weeks, actually. It might last a bit longer. <laughs>